Risk management. So let's talk about risk management. Risk management is the process of identifying, assessing, monitoring, and controlling events arising from risk uh, or threats and decrease the probability and impact of such events. Risks are inherent in any business and cannot be avoided. Information security risks are increasing day by day with advent of new technological pastures. Risk cannot be removed. They can be minimized to an acceptable level. Why risk management? What are some of the questions that generally come up? What are the organization's critical resources? What are the values of those resources? What are the legal, regulatory, or other compliance requirements? What are the weakness and or threats to these critical resources? What's the impact to the business if these weaknesses or threats are exploited? What are the countermeasures and controls to mitigate the risk? What's the cost to implement the countermeasures and controls? What are the risk monitoring techniques? How do you report risk posture for senior management as well as compliance requirements? Risk management is an iterative process. Risk management is the cornerstone of any information security program. Risk management represents time-proven methods and techniques used to identify risks, assess the risk, develop a risk management plan, implementing actions, reevaluate the risks. Quantitative risk analysis is a technique used to assess the risk exposure events to overall organizational objectives and determine with the confidence levels of achieving the organizational objectives. It assists by quantifying the measure of the magnitude of impact in financial terms. It enables business management to prioritize or rank the risks. The value or numbers arrived at may be subject to variations or margins, as well as errors. Quantitative risk assessments calculate absolute financial values. Qualitative risk analysis, a subjective analysis on an educated guess. He uses different risk scenarios and ranks threats based on the probability of the threat occurring and, if it occurs, the impact it has on the organization's business objective. It's based on expert judgment, intuition, and experience rather than on numbers and financial values. The initial assessment to identify risk will be the subject of further detailed quantitative analysis, if so required by the organization. It considers the organizational culture, the reputation, the brand image, etc. Ranks risk on a basis reflecting low risk to high risk. Risk management can be thought of as handling risk. It's important to realize that risk management is not risk elimination. A business that doesn't take any risks doesn't stay in business for long. The cost to eliminate all risks will consume all profits. Risk mitigation. To measures to eliminate or reduce the vulnerability. Example, prioritizing, evaluating, and implementing the appropriate risk-reducing controls. Risk transfer is to move the risk impact from an organization to another entity. An example, transfer the risk by using other options, such as purchasing insurance, to compensate for the loss. Risk avoidance, to avoid the risk by eliminating the risk, cause, and or consequence. Example, moving the organization out of a flood zone. Finally, risk acceptance, to recognize that the risk cannot be economically mitigated and accept as a cost of doing business. Example, to accept that you cannot control the weather causing a power outage and your organization is temporarily disabled. Key risk indicators and key performance indicators. A key risk indicator is a metric for measuring the likelihood that the combined probability of an event and its consequences will exceed the organization's risk appetite and have a profoundly negative impact on an organization's ability to be successful. Key performance indicator is a quantifiable metric that reflects how well an organization is achieving its stated goals and objectives. A key risk indicator are pieces of data serving as early warning indicators of increased risk exposure in various areas of the enterprise. 
KRIs are selected for their impact on the decisions of the senior leaders in the organization. KPIs, or Key Performance Indicators, are designed to provide a high-level overview of the past performance of the organization and its major operating units often focus almost exclusively on historical data. Process by which to measure the performance of security controls and processes. KPIs are driven by organizational goals. Risk IT Framework. A risk IT framework based on guiding principles and featuring business processes and management guidelines that conform to these principles. A risk management framework is the structured process used to identify potential threats to an organization and to define the strategy for eliminating or minimizing the impact of these risks, as well as the mechanisms to effectively monitor and evaluate this strategy. Risk IT Framework complements COBIT, which provides framework for control and governance of business-driven IT-based solutions. Risk IT Framework is to be used to help implement IT governance and enterprises that have had adopted COBIT as IT governance framework. Risk IT Framework go from risk governance to risk evaluation to risk response.